going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com and today, you know what, I pulled the trigger on the Kyosho Mini Z and uh, this is the front wheel drive, you know it, because it's a Honda Civic Type R, how to get the Civic Type R, man, I really love this car. Anyhow, front wheel drive, uh, they do have it in all wheel drive, but I wanted to keep it true to the actual real car, so I went with the front wheel drive. So what does this thing come with and what do you need to get it running? Uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the stuff that this thing comes with anyhow. So if you are kind of looking at this car and you're kind of wondering like how I should get it or not, let me go ahead and go over some of the features here. So it's got a new circuit board to improve the steering feel. Okay, uh, I don't have anything else to compare it to, so okay. Uh, it does have it where you can adjust the wheelbase as well, depending on the different bodies that you stick on the car. So that's pretty awesome. Some other tunes that are in there as well. And also you can put LEDs in this thing. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And also a gyro. This is gonna help just kind of track the car straight. If you're familiar with like 10 scales and stuff like that, some of them have gyros in them just to keep the car tracking straight and make you look a little bit better when you're driving. <laughs> uh, this thing's got full ball bearings in it as well. So that's nice. Now the things that are already in the box. So we know it comes with the car itself. Uh, the, it comes with the radio. Does come with a wheel wrench and a pinion gear tool. So you can pop that thing, those off of there. The pinion gears. So you got a few different options when it comes to different gear ratios that you want to kind of play around with and spur gears. And then if you lose, you know, a wheel nut or two, you got some spare ones for you and some little pylons. So that's nice. Going on to the backside. So I was kind of looking over all this information anyhow before doing this video. This thing straight out the box is in training mode. What does that mean? It's gonna make the car go a little bit slower for anybody that's new to the hobby. So you'll wanna, if you're already, you know, if you already have these and you already know that you know it's already in training mode. But it does state in here straight from the factory that it is shipped with it in training mode. So just kind of be aware of that. Now this thing does have a dual raid, so it's gonna allow the wheels to, you can turn them so they're all the way if you don't mess with anything. And then they can turn just a little bit as far as those wheels too. Uh, it's good for, you know, usually I would do it for like speed runs for larger cars. But um, on, in here too, this might help a little bit for when you're turning that you don't turn too sharp and anyhow. But this thing's got the option of a gyro. So that's pretty cool, like I said. Uh, high performance speed controller, cool. That's where your motor's sitting in there. You can put different motors in there. I did actually buy another motor to put in there so we can see it down the road you know, what the difference is between the stock and everything like that. Uh, suspension, it does have rear suspension, front suspension. It is a digital proportion steering wheel, like I was saying, it kind of like, doesn't just go left, right, it does go, we can go in between, you know, everything in between there, so that's nice. Um, option of, again, it has a little light socket for your LEDs if you, go, if you want to install those. Uh, if you are just getting into it as well, you're gonna need eight AAA batteries. Not double A's, because I've been so used to saying double A's, triple A's. Uh, you know, for the radio itself, you know, you don't need to go with rechargeable batteries in there, but if you're already buying them, maybe you could do that. But I'll probably just go with regular triple A batteries in the radio. And then for the car, I'll just, I already have uh, rechargeable batteries that are like Kyosho's batteries or whatnot. Not, and they're like 800 milliamp batteries. So I got four of those. Um, so that's that. You do have other upgrades or you know available options too to customize. It's pretty cool. You know your spur gears in there, different uh, springs. You know if you want to soften it up or stiffen it up, whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited for this thing, man. Um, do have a track for it, so we'll eventually get that thing already set up, and then we can do some little lap times with it and all that. But let's get this thing out of the box. Let's see. All right, gotta check out the car, man. All right, let's look at that. Oh, man, the thing looks sick. All right, see how that thing's got some zip ties. So, okay, we'll put that aside for right now. I will be checking out the manual also. So there's the manual for it. And then we get another little, our radio. Somehow we gotta get that out of there. All right, all right. So we get our little pylons. They give you a lot of them too, so that's cool. Definitely nice. Pylons, I call them cones, but all right. Then we get our little pinion gears and spur gears that are in there. Maybe you can see a little bit better this way. So I'm gonna keep it all in the back for right now. So there's the parts that we were talking about before. Uh, there's your little tools in there. So cool. And I think that is it, other than the radio. So let's get an idea of how this thing feels in the hand. All right, so it's got the little nice little rubber grip to it. Eh, it's not bad. I mean, for my hands, it seems to be okay. 
And let's take a look. So there's your four triple A's that you'll need to put in there. So pretty cool. Uh, other little, so you got your trim settings that are here, your throttle trim right there. You got your steering trim for your dual rate, channel four, and your steering trim up at the top here as well. So just in case the car's pulling one way or the other, you can make the adjustment there. So not bad. And your little on and off switch. So cool. All right, let's get that car and let's take a look at that thing in all its glory because that's really what I want. <laughs> Right, to point out there's the little switch the on and off switch for the car it's on the underside of the chassis uh, as far as the servo goes too I mean you can hear it probably can hear a little bit of rain as well I'm in Florida uh, light buckets so I was like yeah you can add LEDs to it um, I don't see a spot where I can actually add the LEDs into it so I'll kind of zoom up here you guys you guys tell me like yeah that car doesn't have the ability to add LEDs but there are other Kyosho Mini Z's that have that, so this one just doesn't have it. That's what I'm guessing. Well, something's different about it or whatever, but anyway, that's that. It's not a deal breaker anyhow. Body's easy to get off there, and then also when it comes to you know putting in the double A's or triple A's, I should say, and it's hard to do this with one hand, but uh, yeah, just kind of grab that with the nail. Anyway, hard to do it, but I got it open. Anyway, that little piece kind of flops off there, and then you can put your little two AAA batteries in it and then snap that back down. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share us with your friends. And like I said, I'll put a link down in the description. So if you guys are interested in this one, and not only, we do carry a lot of other Mini Zs on our website also. All right, I uh, hope to have a running video of it here soon. I do have to set up the track. I do have to make a base for the track. So it's going to take a little bit of time. But anyway. Appreciate you guys. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.